What is the life of a special forces officer? Um, I have worked with the practically every special forces battalion. Hmm. Even as a captain, I had a another captain for special forces sit in my bunker. Then as a major, as a CO. Um, they are a different breed. Hmm. Firstly, the most motivated, highly qualified, and IQ and thinking, of course, is everyone's because you come through the SSB, you come through the psychology test, but they are motivated to the core. The first time when I went with the special forces officer for an ambush, for eight days, we lied in a, we are lying in an ambush in a lab, and if we had to go for the morning call and all this just, is in Jammu Kashmir that you're in Jammu Kashmir. I, I mean, just major. in case our viewers or our yeah. listeners, the lab is in North Kashmir in uh, district of Pwada. Hmm. And very thick jungles. Hmm. And we went for an operation. And eight days we were in ambush. It's not that you get up for the morning call and walk 100 meters and then and come back and make all the noise on the leaves which have fallen. You just take five side rolls, do the thing and come back. Oh. And you don't move. You don't breathe. You eat your food there only. Because if you move or if you, you know, breathe loudly, you have to hear the silence. The first time I heard this dialogue. Okay. Captain Bandral, Vivek Bandral, God bless his soul, he got, uh, uh, you know, lost his uh, life in uh, operation in Kupada only. He says, sir, you have to listen to the silence. Silence speaks. And sure enough, if you're just listening, and when a terrorist is coming in, the silence is broken. So eight days you were just... Uh, Ma'am, that was one of... Otherwise, we have gone for 14 days self-contained operations. What is a self-contained operation? Self-contained is, ma'am, you, whatever you can carry on your back. Okay. You carry and you survive within that. Arms and the man, George Bernard Shah, Balanchali, uh-huh. Sergius. Whether you carry chocolates or you carry ammunition, it's up to you. What What is the kind of food that uh, is given? Uh, ma'am, these days uh, we have meals ready to eat. Huh. It's something like what's available in the open market also. You just boil it. Huh. And there's a plow, there's a dal, there's a halwa, there's a tea rations. Olden days, we used to carry shakarparas. Even today, my troops, like Rajputana rifles, Jats and Rajputs, they prefer shakarparas, misi puri, huh. namak se bana ke puri mein. But garam karne ke liye koi, you Nein, probably uh, can't jan, heat jan, anything. Generally, ma'am, because that would give away uh, smoke, give and, smoke and fire. And smells, I'm and sure smell food also, smells. So smells you, also. So that people. is uh, not done. We okay. generally eat whatever the way it is and uh, some little pickle. Huh. And generally, we prefer to eat it next to a spring. So huh. that jo masale, masale ki smell hai, jahan puri ki smell hai, jahan pickle ki smell hai. You eat, you drink your water, you wash your hands, and huh. the smell goes. Okay. So you move to your next ambush location. So what is the mental preparation that goes into a special forces person like this? Who knows that he may not come back home? Ma'am, it's a, again, I'll put it that way. It's a training. And second is the body system. The three things which are very important in any soldier. Confidence in himself which comes from confidence in his body, confidence in his commander, and confidence in his weapon. If out of these three people, commander, weapon, and his partner, the buddy, if out of these three things, people or uh, things, one is not up to it, soldier's morale, the confidence will go down. I will be very scared to walk with a person if I will I'll be very scared to go into an operation if I know my weapon may not fire. I'll be very scared to go into an operation if I feel my commander is not, you know, intelligent enough or uh, professional enough. He can guide me into a certain death. So three things, confidence in your commander, confidence in your weapon, confidence in your body. Bring in the confidence in you. You tell me that, you know, when you speak to civilians now, now that you're on the other side of the fence, do you feel that the Bollywood, uh, you know, uh, picturization of what the special forces do uh, and what, what you know, because there's so much of glorification of special forces in, in America, you know, the SEALs and yes. everything, there, there's so much of that. In Israel, you hear and you see Mossad ka kitna sara hota hai, but in India, thoda zyada hi romantic ho jata hai. It doesn't seem real to some of us. Aapko kya yeah. lagta hai? Absolutely, ma'am. Soldiering is a serious business. Hmm. And you see some wonderful war movies made by the Western uh, movie makers. The realism is true. In our case, the research work which is required does not 
go into, I suppose. As a result, what do you see is the Siosa singing songs. Mm. And that doesn't happen in the real sense. Yes, Siosa do sing songs. But then there is an environment. Mess mein hai, baithe hai, koi kisi ki anniversary hai, unki khud ki anniversary hai, sare ek gana ho jai. He'll sing one or stanza, he's okay. But the type of, you know, because unko masala dalna hai, unko gana bhi dalna hai, unko ek dance bhi dalna hai, unko ye bhi dalna hai. As a result, they lose the plot. एंड अभी तो फिर ठीक हो गया पहले तो दैट कर्नल साहब विद हैंडल बार मुस्टैच एंड ट्वेल्व और गन ट्राइंग टू प्रोटेक्ट इज डॉटर फ्रॉम एवरी वन वॉज अ स्टैंडिंग यू नो इमेज इन द हिंदी मूवीज गोली मार दूंगा इन हिज हाउस ऑल्सो इज रॉमिंग राउंड विद राइफल सो मैम थिंग्स आर चेंज द लॉट आई ओनली होप एंड बिलीव यू टॉक्ट अबाउट बॉलीवुड पिक्चराइजेशन यू आर वेरी एक्टिव ऑन ट्विटर सर Uh, and everybody uh, all of us have watched uh, all the series of fauda uh, now that's on based on real operations the uh, israelis have been israelis doing their real operations yeah. for many decades we have been doing it for more than 30 years now mm-hmm. you think sir uh, we can create our own type of fauda series based on operations in kashmir yes why not because point is our operation the so transparent our operation the so professional our nation and international community must know how we do it when we go into international seminars with the international defense personnel people walk up to indian army officers and ask you as to how come you have you know sort of finished the insurgency in the northeast mm. and you have curtailed this insurgency so wonderfully in kashmir the terrorism so they walk up to you with wide open eyes yeah and we need to tell our stories today's world like we are doing this podcast it's basically telling what you feel if you don't tell someone how will he know what is your worth and the younger generation would never know to motivate the younger generation to tell the world of our transparency of operations we need to tell our stories and i think a very good idea and uh, i hope adgpi is listening mm-hmm.